Princeton University used to be my one of my aircraft sites. I had all these, um, you know, you can kind of tell when you look at the buildings, if you see a tower sticking up, well, we put water usually in the, t and usually I had a toilet system planned and I would have what's called system. So we would have a water tank up on the very roof of Princeton University. And if you look at the old photos, you'd probably see the tower and then the water tank on top because, um, because that was for, um, for the toilet system and also drinking water of the, of the building because I would do what's called, and then we would use steam pressure pumps. You know, you run this, you, 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 you boil the water, you know, and then, and then you run that through it, through a thing. And then that drives the pumps that pump the water up into the tower for the, for, for like Princeton university. And it would also do hot water for the building and other stuff. You know, I'd always have a little one and a big one. Anyway. Um, Princeton University I, University actually started out as an airfield, I believe, and they were, were probably also doing my, my, my rock samples because I had rock samples coming from Panama and my different, you know, I had so many drill rigs going. Um, I had, you know, all the way around the Cape, um, you know, Cuba. Uh, they were doing all that for, for, for Panama and I was paying for that. And there's also a lot of stuff in Europe and Russia and also America as well doing rock sa core samples. But... Um, but Princeton University was was one of my aircraft. Um, they had a big runway out in front of Princeton University, and also later on they were doing they were taking rock samples because the aircraft would fly to go get the rock samples, and then they would fly back to Princeton University, and they would take logs and also do the do the mineral samples. I had mineral samples and just just research going everywhere. Um, like there was Princeton University, there was also uh, Germany. Um, I mean, in Russia, you know, there was a, uh, th th there were, there were samples going to um, to Tiffany, of course, uh, in Russia. There was there was Tiffany in Russia, and then of course there's Tiffany in America, and I had all this stuff going, and my aircraft were flying here and there and everywhere. And my female pilots and everything else like that. Female pilots were non were non military, non I mean non war, uh, non fighters. Um, they would just do all the. There's a that's another thing. A lot of females would 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 fly the planes and they would actually go get the rock samples or go get the research stuff. I mean, women did a huge part. I loved women very very much, and they would do a lot of stuff like going to go get the rock samples and everything else, and taking care of. Um, um, all the, all the, they did a lot of transport stuff, a lot of, um, you know, paratroopers, food drops, that kind of stuff. So women did a lot of stuff for me. And, um, and basically a lot of the research, all the research, all the sample testing, you know, women played a huge role in, 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 in society, like, um, like, like doing all the mineral samples and stuff like that. While the men would, would, would be working and drilling and stuff like that, the women were doing all the, all the research and development and science of everything. <clears throat> and schooling as well, because men were used for labor and all that other stuff. There were some research, male researchers as well. Uh, they always hung around the females. I, that's fine. You know, I, I didn't mind it. Anyway, though, but Princeton University was, um, was one of my research laboratories. They also had aircraft out in front of it. Um, I mean, you can see on the things when, when you look at when you look at all the things. You see the water tank, you see the airfield, and there are rock samples that would be going there and everything else like that. So that was one of my research facilities, and um, and a fairly successful one at that. Um, and then there were three schools around there. And then later on, um, of course, I was building the telescopes, and they were also helping me with the telescopes. You know, building the telescopes to go on top of the on top of the mountains and everywhere else like that. I forget which ones they were, but you know, I had scientists everywhere. Um, JFK and Nixon, they, they got all paranoid and they're wondering, well, what's going on? Where does it begin? Where does it, where does it end? Who, who, who controls what? And, and really, realistically, you really, you, it took them a while to figure out what was going on and who was in control or who was, was, was Lucifer, white star. Um, like I say, it's Lucifer, white star lines. Um, yeah, I know. Um, epic creator of 800 galaxies and 12 races or more, uh, millions actually. Like I said, there are 800 of those galaxies out there, including the one that's going to hit us in about 680 billion years, are my creation. I began with the particles. Actually, I invented 
I invented the particles and I figured out how to make denser particles. See, in the, in the old days, we didn't really have dense particles. Nobody knew how to make hard, no, nobody knew how to make hard, uh, dense particles. Um, but I figured it out. Well, I had figured it out a long time ago. Anyway, humans were lucky because they really didn't have to worry about a lot of things. Um, you know, I provided the grain, I provided a stable planet. I provided for, for them a lot, you know, um, technology helped them out and uh, basically made life very much easy for them.